hello friends welcome to this lecture on die casting so die casting is basically a, a method of uh, casting uh, where we use permanent molds instead of using this traditional sand molds here the molds are made of um, metals metallic molds are used for better uh, properties which we will see uh, in the subsequent slides so if we have to uh, talk something about the types of uh, mold casting we have different varieties of uh, mold casting permanent mold casting which are the mainly uh, which can be grouped under uh, two heads and the first one is the gravity die casting and the second one is the pressure die casting again and uh, under pressure die casting you will have two types of uh, pressure die castings there is the cold chamber pressure die casting and the hot chamber pressure die casting now what separates this uh, uh, gravity die casting from the pressure die casting is, is the fact that in gravity die, die casting the molten metal enters the mold cavity uh, by gravitational force no pressure or no no other uh, external forces are applied whereas in pressure die casting the molten metal is forced with the help of a plunger a ram or plunger will be there and it will try to squeeze this uh, molten metal in the, uh, into the mold cavities so now let us try to understand how a gravity die casting machine looks like and what are the different components of the machine so if you can see in this uh, diagram on the right hand side there is a fixed die and on the left hand side there is a movable die now this movable die can, can be moved to and fro in either direction either in left and right depending on our use and just behind the movable die there is a component called plunger this plunger is nothing but it will uh, try to push the movable die towards the fixed die uh, just uh, before uh, we pour before we start pouring pouring the molten metal you can see in this um, an arrow mark is given so um, just before pouring the molten metal this movable die will will be forced with the help of a plunger so that these two dies come closer to each other now let us see what happens when this plunger pushes the movable die you can see this uh, once this plunger starts pushing it these two dies have come closer to each other and there is a small clearance this is the clearance a small clearance is there it is in this clearance it is in this uh, gap that we will pour our molten metal so what we'll do we'll try to fetch uh, some molten metal with the help of a ladle this is a ladle and in this way in this way we will try to pour the, uh, the molten metal in the cavity this is the mold cavity now once we are done with pouring we will allow it to solidify and once it gets solidified this is the final casting that i'll get see yeah, now if you need a spherical object so your mold cavity will be spheric spherical in shape if you need a rectangular object rectangular casting if you need your, your final casting to be of rectangular shape similarly you have to create your die in the in, in the same manner so this was all about gravity die casting here you might have seen that we have not applied any force um, or um, apart from the uh, gravitational force i mean on the on the molten metal no force was applied but in the second case that is the pressure die casting what we'll do we'll try to squeeze the molten metal with the help of um, different arrangements which which we are going to see in the subsequent slides so pressure die casting is again uh, can be divided under two heads the cold chamber pressure die casting and hot chamber pressure die casting now what uh, differentiates these two is that in cold chamber pressure die casting the furnace is not the part of the machine just remember this point this furnace it will be located uh, somewhere away from this machine from this um, die casting machine but on the ho um, in hot chamber pressure die casting this furnace is actually an integral part of the machine this furnace will be fixed to the machine this is the only difference between these two um, uh, these two setup so now let us see one by one see this is the diagram of a uh, this is a sim simple schematic diagram of a cold chamber pressure die casting here let us try to first uh, understand what are the different uh, parts of the machine first we have a plunger this plunger will be uh, will be used to force the molten metal into the die cavity this is your cavity this is the die cavity we, uh, our aim is to fill this cavity so once we poured start pouring this molten metal in this direction this molten metal will start come here and then the, this uh, plunger will force the molten metal into the die cavity okay so now after this uh, this is the ladle and then we again we have a movable part of the die and a fixed part of the die and this movable die will be uh, will be clamped to the fixed die with the help of the uh, these two ejector pins these are ejector pins 
and once uh, after we are done uh, with the casting we can again um, to to bring out the final casting we will remove these ejector pins and this movable die will be removed will be um, taken to the left side and we'll get our final casting uh, somewhat like this this is uh, in this diagram you can see what happens when the uh, molten metal um, is squeezed into this uh, into the um, mold cavity with the help of the plunger so and in this way we will get our final casting in this second case in hot chamber pressure die casting everything is similar just the setup is different here the main component is this one the furnace the furnace is the is the is the integral part of this uh, setup it is in this furnace that we will melt our um, metal solid metal and once the solid metal is melted this uh, with the help of this plunger you can see here with the help of this plunger a force will be applied to this plunger so as a result of this uh, force you can see this molten metal will flow along this direction with the help of the arrow I, uh, arrows i have shown in the diagram and uh, so this molten metal will flow and fill the uh, fill the mold cavity now here one important part is this one the gooseneck gooseneck pipe this pipe is called a gooseneck because it it resembles the neck of a goose 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 is a type of a bird with a long neck so somewhat it uh, looks like the neck of a goose so we call it a gooseneck pipe gooseneck pipe now once we are done, done with this uh, once this molten metal comes and fill this uh, entire entire ca cavity we will wait for some time we will try to solidify it and then we, we will remove the ejector pins and then we will get the final casting so this was all about the hot chamber and uh, cold chamber die casting so before closing let us uh, um, try to understand the advantages of die casting over the traditional sand, sand castings why should we use these die castings the first point is um, as usual better surface finish uh, since you are uh, using metallic molds here so surface finish will be uh, far better as compared to the uh, sand molds then the uh, low porosity ga uh, low gas porosity because porosity means small small uh, air pockets uh, that uh, remains in, in the in, uh, molten metal here porosity the chances of porosity is very less because you are trying to squeeze the molten metal in, inside the uh, die cavity so um, uh, the chances of por uh, porosity becomes negligible then uh, homogeneous grain, grain structure homogeneous means uniform grain structure will be attained in case of die casting which is uh, not always always possible in sand casting because in die casting you are uh, uh, since you are applying pressure uniform pressure so the grain structure um, becomes uniform then mechanical uh, better mechanical properties Be better mechanical properties will, will be obtained only when the uh, rate of cooling is optimum now here since we are using metallic molds so metals are good conductors conductor of uh, heat so they will try to take the heat at a faster date uh, from the molten metal and they will uh, re release this heat to the environment so due to this faster cooling rates um, we will get better mechanical proper properties and last but not the least higher rate of production since here you are doing everything with, with the help of a machine so your rate of production uh, will be more in sand, uh, sand casting you, you might have seen that you might have observed that uh, we have to after doing one uh, single operation we have to break the sand, sand mold again we have to create a new mold again uh, uh, then again we have to do, do it so this process takes a lot of time now you if you are running a company where bulk production is your is your aim so uh, in these cases you, you should go with these die castings initial investment will be high but um, then um, it will be compensated since you are creating more parts in short amount of time so this was all for today in case of any doubts please um, feel free to ask in the comment box and for more videos please uh, subscribe our channel Magvidya. thank you for watching guys